Hello everyone, Jeff here. So what we're looking at here is a breeder box. I bought this about a month ago. Um, this was included in my unboxing video from Doctors Foster's and Smith, um, a recent order that I received. Um, I finally put it to use last night. Um, so I bought it because I wanted to try putting some pregnant guppies in it to, or you know pregnant live bearers of some sort just so I could see how many babies they might have because what I've up until now what I've always done is just let them you know have their babies out in the open and you know all my like my tanks have lots of plants for babies to hide in but I never really get to see like how many babies they have so last night I there is a separation here so last night I put two pregnant guppies in here they're well guppy endler hybrids this is my guppy endler hybrid tank so this female right here um, and this one so already since last night this is the one that appears to have had offspring and is I mean, all these other fish are in front of it, swimming in front of it. But what's inside the box is this female and that female. And all these, you know, males, even, I can't even get access to her and they're still relentless trying to get at her. Well, yeah, so this one has had offspring since you know, I put her in here as you can see. But this is not what I was expecting. This is more of a freak show. You know, I kind of expected it to be, you know, there's a separation here, but there's like an opening here, so the whole bottom is open. So, you know, just based on her size and her size, that like she clearly, her belly is smaller and she. This one is still big. But anyway, yeah. So you can see platy fry in here. I'm not platy fry. I mean guppy fry, or more specifically guppy endler hybrid fry. But then, oh, look at these. Just like these, these just appear to be underdeveloped, like embryos. But among them. Well, this one is dead, whether it was born alive. But over here, can you you can see this one is moving. It's underdeveloped, but it's alive. And even right here, this one is just a. If you can look closely. It's like you can, it's still like in a ball, but it's like you can see a little heart beating. And then, you saw it right, see it right there. That is alive and it's, it's a conjoined twin, conjoined twin guppies, guppy fry. It's like Siamese twins. You can see there's two sets of eyes sharing a head and you know there's one edge one like body the tail fin and then here is another this one's less developed compared to that one but there's another body here and that's you can you know my I can't really zoom in very good but you can if you can see it is the tail fin is fluttering it's alive how long it's going to live who knows I mean I I wouldn't expect it to live but you know how it would even be able to get food for itself and I did that you know I just fed them probably too much kind of with intention more so feeding the the adult females but 
So there's all like food debris down here. But yeah, this is weird. This is a this is a a guppy freak show. So, you know, I don't know if she's you know, she's still I mean they always look pregnant anyway, even after they do give birth, but you know how I wonder how much more she has in her and then you know, who knows? I mean, maybe this one when she has her babies they'll be normal or <laughs> or what, but it's just pretty wild. The first time I ever tried a breeder box and then this is what I find. You know, I wonder, you know, it makes me wonder if this kind of thing has been happening all along, but I just don't see it because they, you know, just have them out in the open and other fish will eat them or what. Yeah, this is weird. Weird stuff. But of the non freaks, this one looks, yeah, that's the Siamese twin. So it's back end like this body right here is curled and that one here's one right here that's just underdeveloped you can see a little heart beating right there like some others that are you know more just more developed some of them look like the you know they can be healthy I'll be able to raise them healthy, but man, this is weird. Never seen anything like that. So it makes me wonder if it's, you know, these were, You know, she gave birth too soon or because she's under stress from being in this breeder box. But doing so, I kind of figured I'm also alleviating her stress from all the males just um, harassing her like crazy. But maybe it's like built up stress from having endured the males harassing her. But then, you know, this female has gone through the same stress as have pretty much all of them. Yeah, so. And, you know, my plan was to, after they give birth, keep, you know, try to raise some of them in here. Keep them in the breeder box. And because I want to move some of them to my... Neo Caradina shrimp tank. I was thinking of doing that like as soon as they were old enough that I can sex them and tell them apart from male and female so I can put you know like maybe a pair or a trio in there. Because you can identify you know pretty early on you can identify which are males and females. Like if females even when they're really young will develop gravid spots and then the males will start developing color so you can differentiate them you know even maybe as soon as less than you know less than a month three or four weeks perhaps yeah did not expect to see this look at that you can see right a little heart beating right there This is this is crazy. So that stuff we'll just have to I might have to scoop that out and just dump it in the rest of the tank and keep it as fish food. This one's dead right there. It'll, you know, I wonder if they'll these underdeveloped ones will just develop on their own like outside of the womb so we'll see I mean this is you know just really weird but now it's like I can observe it I wasn't 
my intent, you know, I wanted to just see how many babies they would have and and raise some in here, but I didn't did not expect this. This is wild. All right. We'll, we'll end it on that. And I'm Jeff and I enjoy fiddy, fishies. Thanks for watching.